Hey YouTube, it's your brothers and cards here for Who Broke It Better. And the last video, pretty sure I won with a one-on-one Zaire Smith. So that's awesome, got back on the winning track. So hopefully I can go for two in a row here. And in this episode, we're busting first off the line elite football. Last episode was basketball. The reason we did basketball is because that was the gold feature for January's Pack Plus program. And then this stuff right here is the gold feature for football's January Pack Plus program. Super excited to bust this. Man, I've been looking forward to busting uh, Elite first off the line for a long time. We watched like a whole bunch of boxes on eBay waiting to snipe them and then it's never worked out. Um, so then we ended up getting some so that we could put it, like you said, in this month's Pack Plus program. It's the gold feature. So if you order a gold box um, before January 20th, you are going to get a pack of elite first off the line. So there's a there's a guaranteed gold auto in every box, right? At least one. I've seen boxes that had several, two or three even. Yeah, Timmy G's was. Yeah, so I mean, it, it's very possible that these boxes could get wild. Um, and, and they really, on average, probably have like slightly more than three hits in each one of these boxes. So I'm excited about it. I'm all about the gold ink. I want a gold baker real bad. And uh, so we're going to get cracking here. Make sure you vote in the comments for who had the better box. I'm Jonathan. I'm Andy. And, uh, you know, we're excited every time we get a rip packs, but we really enjoyed this series of Who Broke It Better and uh, being able to share our hits with you and um, hear what you think about each product. And my first time Miller, too. I forgot that they uh, all have a, a backwards card. I right. have to sneak a peek if it's. If it's I'm not sneaking no peek. I'm just going. It's the pin pal. Oh yeah, that one's obvious. You got a pin pal? Well, you started slowing down. I was like, it is. Just throwing my trash right for There's a little, little Baker rookie elitist. I feel like I haven't seen a lot of those rookie elitists. I'm wondering if they were. People just aren't caring about them, or there's not very many of them. Those College are teams. It's like the last card of college unis, right? Yeah. The elite. I think the purple is sharp out of 99. Yeah. All right, so are you slowing down? You getting tired? Yep. <laughs> Never. So like we said, this is our, our gold featured product for our Pack Plus program this month. Sharing the wealth. We, we've had a lot of fun. My relic is Mike Evans. <laughs> um, for anybody who's a big fan of relics, we've got a pretty killer $5 box oh. that we usually take to our There's shows. There's my out of five, Robbie Anderson. Out of five? You get one out of five. Oh, I didn't know that. In the first off the line? Yeah. Yikes. All right. Robbie Anderson, all right. I forgot about that parallel. And then the gold pentile. Yeah, and there could be more gold pentiles. I don't even remember what I was saying. Oh yeah, first off line products, yeah. We really kind of uh, are starting to get a passion for putting stuff in our products that you can't really find anywhere. Um, like this month we have all the first off the line footballs program and basketballs program this month we have the Kaboom Packs, which you had to buy with points. And I don't even remember, it was a lot of points. Remember how many they were? Like 1,500? 2,500 points. Yeah, so we put two of those in our, our Basketball Pack Plus program, but just kind of fun to get stuff that's hard to get and give you guys a chance. Again, we started this whole program um, to give people an opportunity to uh, get hobby packs. Maybe there wasn't a hobby card or a card shop close to them. Maybe they didn't have the means to get some of the higher products, so we've given you this uh, opportunity um, to get high in packs without high in, high in prices, but also just stuff that's hard to find, like the first off the line stuff. A little A-Rodge, any numbered on that? Yep, 75. Primary all right, colors. all right. I have my pin pal right here. Uh-oh, saving little, it. Saw a little bit of the color. Saving it's it. It's not any color anybody wants, so <laughs> that's not good. Pin pal? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Hopefully you got another one in there. But yeah, some uh <clears throat> spoiler alert. Oh, just kidding. There's my pin pal. That is a color Ooh. people want. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> so we'll exciting. see. It's exciting stuff. 
Um, I'm not sure when we'll get around to posting this video, but uh, a spoiler alert for you, that might not actually be a spoiler, is we are going to be reducing the amount of classics and donors in each pack plus program. Up until now, that has been locked in at less than a third. So it's always been less than 33% um, of each program is made up of donors or classics. Um, How about his running mate? Ooh, little 75. Drew Brees, not mad. Um, sorry, getting distracted. Anyways, um, that's been locked in since we started the very first month, almost a year, almost two years ago. Um, we made sure that a third of the program wasn't made up of Donnerson Classic. Um, since then, that has not changed, but as we grow, that just means more Donnerson Classic. And I can tell that some people are getting annoyed by that. Um, please understand it's all random. We have no control over who gets it. Um, they do work their way uh, into funny boxes. Um, it's always crazy to me how like one or two boxes might end up with like four packs of Donners because like chances of that are extremely small. But in order to reduce those risks, we're going to reduce the amount of uh, classics and Donners from 33% to 25%. It's going to be less than 25%, which means the average gold box should have less than two packs of Donners and classics. Now, again, it's completely random. We can't control it. If you end up with two or three packs of Donners or Elite, or sorry, Donners or um, Classics in your box, then that, that's how it goes. That's what happens with the random. But we, we think reducing it by 8% is going to help a lot, um, help reduce or eliminate um, some of those. Is that my pimp ball? No. no. It's an autograph, though. I will take it. Bradley Chubb, number down to 149 there by the Broncos. Bradley Chubb, dude, he's a stud, man. I know the Broncos didn't do as great this year as like people were hoping, but I still thought, you know, he, he deserved to be up there in the front half of that draft tour this year. But yeah, we think reducing it by 8%, it's gonna cut off, you know, 100 or so of those packs. It'll help your guys' box pack value out. We watched that very closely. Um, and again, you have to check out our other video that kind of goes more in depth about all that. You done? No. Just take it real. You're ahead of me. I talk too much. I'm way ahead of you. I'm about that business. <laughs> about not, that action. Not messing around. I'm about that action. I'm here to get ink and take names. I'm trying to get two in a row here. Okay, that's my second. Focus. One. When you focus harder, do you get better cards? Yeah. Man, I've been you're, you're messing up all this time. Not and if you don't use your teeth. No, using your teeth helps. I guess you've been pulling. Ah, oh, I thought that now. was Kirk. That'd be cool. Does he have a card like that? I don't know. This is my relic for sure. I'll catch up to you. Just enjoy it. You're right. I've been looking forward to busting this product since like June. Not my filler. Or not mine. I've got a lot of primary colors in this box. It's not a bad thing, bro. That's three quarterback primary colors. That's cool. Not a bad thing. <laughs> Gosh dang it, man. Where's the numbering to? It's even really hard uh, to see. Four out of five. That was mine, too. Uh, I guess I'll take a Robbie Anderson over that guy. So I got the guy that's just a couple biscuits short of being, what, a tight end? Or I don't think, I think he's too short anymore. <laughs> Heavens. He is a tight end. Gosh, man. Kelvin Benjamin is my out of five uh, parallel. I guess we're leaving all the good stuff for them in the Pack Plus program on that side of things. I like it. Uh, Heavens. Wrong chief. Yeah, this is definitely my yeah, but, Man, Kelvin Benjamin was a stud. He came out in that 2014 draft yeah, class with the like Panthers. I was like, dude. Oh, Larry Fitz there with the... Quarterback, I still got one auto left. Are you hiding two over there? I'm hiding two. Hiding two autos over there. First I saw that in the back, I was like, what? <laughs> yes. Aaron Rodgers to 99. Do worse. Ooh, nice. Die cut Melvin Gordon, 20 of 24. Stuff. We've got some decent oh. stuff with Melvin Gordon, I feel like. 
forgot to show your relic. Passing. Yeah. You even beat me on the relic this time. Bradley Chubb, though, I mean, there's worse autos out there. Uh, number, or first round pick. That's right. Kiki Kute out of 10. Ooh. He's coming back this week. Yeah, I'll take that. He's a good athlete, man. Sucks he got hurt. He, he, like, he was like playing really, really well. I know. And he got hurt like. Well, and they were just talking about um, in the last game about how DeAndre Hopkins needs a second guy and how they had, you know. Thomas. Uh, well, they had uh, four. Well, four. Yeah. And then he got hurt, and then they got Demarius Thomas, and he got hurt. And how he, it's Kute, right? I'm saying right? Judy? I feel like I've heard announcers. I feel like they said it the other day. I don't day. think anybody knows. <laughs> um, but uh, they were talking about, you know, if he comes back, maybe he could be the guy they need. Gosh, I'm way behind. Way behind. Talk too much. Don't hit on the keys. Oh, those are cool. I do like those. The dual threat with Justin Tucker running it in. Justin Tucker. 90% on, on his career field goals. Nine out of 10 times he trots out there, it's going in. That's incredible. Regardless of the distance, he's so good. Ooh, I see it. I like the color. I do. It's a receiver. Receiver. Christian Kirk. Christian Kirk. Is it gold? Yeah, it is. Not bad. It's cool. Christian Kirk. Hey, we pulled Christian Kirk the other day. Yeah, I, I like Christian Kirk. I like it when a young receiver comes in with a young quarterback. I think good things happen there. Um, I love the gold ink, too. I mean, that's cool. I could have been worse. I'm not mad about that. John, John Kelly. Kelly is my sticker auto out of 149. Christian Kirk, nothing to get excited about. Nothing to get mad about either. This is first round pick. My pin pal is <laughs> Ronald Jones the third. Ugh. Ouch. That hurts my skin. All right. If anybody is a Ronald Jones fan, we actually have some other good stuff. We got a one of his optic out of ten. Um, and now we have a couple Christian Kirks, too. So if you collect any of those guys, hit us up. They'll end up on eBay pretty soon. Thank you so much for watching. Again, I'm Jonathan. I'm Andy. Make sure you vote in the comments for who had the better box. It's kind of a toss-up. I'm, I'm pulling me big time. But you know what? You guys vote. It's up to you guys. God bless.